It's time for Mountain Music, presented by Mountain Music Exchange, the heart of music in the mountains. This week we're back down at Mountain Music Exchange where we run into Barbersville native Tim Browning. We'll take a good look around. Hear that sad, lonesome sound. Just like many in the mountains, Tim's earliest influences in music reach back to his childhood memories of family and church. Both my parents, when I was a young kid, played uh, gospel music, and both my parents played guitar. So uh, my f first initial experience was sitting under a pew at church and just kind of watching them perform and that whole thing. And uh, it didn't take long before I was on stage with them. So. Make you a slave. The hurt good times. The joker will fool you, and death will come for you. Just like a thief in the night. Tim says there's nothing like being able to take his music and share it with others. When it comes to playing and, and performance and singing, I think for me the most important part of it is the fact that uh, for me personally, uh, I get to take my experiences uh, as varied as they are and uh, I get to relive them and even the painful ones when you play them on stage and you have that kind of community feeling of connecting with an audience, I think that uh, even the painful ones can bring you joy. And so that for me has always been why I have never been able to turn away from it. There's nowhere to run. The vampires will lead you and the devil will feed you if you show taste for his life. These mountains are just as much of an influence on Tim's music today as it was when he was just a child. One Horse Town is a, is a tune that I wrote. Uh, I spent about eight years in the military, I was in the Army. And uh, growing up in Appalachia, you know, when you had, you're a teen, you reject where you're from to an extent and the people around you. Uh, but I joined the Army and I left and I went as far as away from, you know, as home as possible and uh, started to fall in love with home. And uh, that song initially was just dealing with that experience. And uh, at that point in my life where I found myself, uh, it was kind of like a cautionary tale. You know, just uh, don't be afraid to leave. Don't be afraid to go out. It's okay to come home. It'll always be there when you come back. So, you know, don't be afraid to leave. Goodbye. 